guys in this video i will be talking about graduate visa also known as post study work visa this visa was launched in july 2021 and is a wonderful opportunity that allows international students to live and work in the uk for two to three years upon graduation in this visa you can become self-employed or you can work anywhere that you want so i will be sharing with you everything you need to know about this graduate visa how to apply the documents you need to apply who can apply with you the benefit and what you can do and what you cannot do on this visa so if this looks like what you're interested in our advice is to stick around and watch till the end hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is olebe moneme i live and work in the uk as a nurse Please consider subscribing to my channel because here I share information as regards migrating to the UK and all immigration visa updates as well as UK lifestyle, nursing gist and a little bit of entertainment. Today I will be sharing with you all you need to know about graduate visa. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not an immigration lawyer or an advisor. Whatever I'm sharing with you right now is based on my research from www.gov.uk website, which is an official website, okay? So also do well to visit the website and check out any information that you need. All right, let's get straight into introduction. the introduction. Graduate visa, also known as post-study work visa, allows international students to stay in the UK for two or three years after successfully completing their course here in the UK. So for those who did bachelor's or master program, they are allowed to stay on this visa route for two years. Then for those who did their PhD or other doctoral qualification, they can stay for three years on this visa route. Eligibility for you to apply. First of all, you must be in the UK at the point of application of this visa. Secondly, your current visa must be student visa or tier 4 general student visa thirdly you must have successfully completed your course here in the uk before you can apply and lastly your educational provider must have informed the home office that you've successfully completed your course here in the uk before you can apply so this means that before you apply for this visa you need to make sure, verify with your educational provider, your university, verify with them that, they've, that they have informed the Home Office that you have successfully completed your program. Only then are you eligible to apply for this graduate. Documents you need to apply. Number one is your valid passports. This could be your international passports. Then you need your BROP, Biometric Residence Permits. Again, you need your CAS reference number, confirmation of acceptance of study, the letter that was given to you when you applied for student visa, the reference number on the CAS letter, you will need it to apply. These are the three documents you need. Then you might also need other additional documents. If you are applying with your partner and your children, you might need to get a proof of your relationship with your partner. This means that if you want your partner to apply with you, you have to get a proof of relationship, which can be your marriage certificate or any court marriage. Another thing you need to know is that if you are on a sponsorship, you've been sponsored on your course here in the UK, before you can apply for this graduate visa route, you need to get a letter of consent from the body that is sponsoring you. A letter of consent stating that they're happy for you to continue to stay in the UK upon graduation. So these are the documents you might need in order to How apply. to apply? You need to apply online from www.gov.uk website. The link to apply, I will be dropping it in the description box of this video. After making your application, it usually takes 8 weeks for the decision to be made. So this means that you can get a decision within one week, two weeks, or three weeks of application. But the maximum waiting time is eight weeks. So the benefits of this visa is that you can become self-employed. If you're a lady, you have skills, you can 
you know, build on that skills. You know how to plate hair. You can open a saloon. You're a guy. You know how to cut hair. You can open a barbing saloon. Anything that you know how to do, you can start up a you can start up a business while on this visa route. Another thing is that no sponsorship is needed on this visa route. You can get job anywhere. You can switch visa while on graduate visa routes. So assuming you get a job, um, a skilled job or something, you want to switch to skilled worker job, you can do that while on. You those can visa. travel abroad and return while on those visa. You don't need proof of fund to switch to this visa route, and you don't need proof of English language proficiency. So your partner and your dependents can also apply with you as long as they've been with you while on the student visa. They are eligible to apply with you to switch over to the graduate visa. So what you cannot do on this visa? You cannot claim public funds while on this visa. You cannot become a professional sports person, like becoming a professional footballer or something like that. You are not allowed. You are not allowed to bring in new dependents. So assuming after switching to this graduate visa, you want to bring your wife and your child or maybe your children, you cannot do that. They have to be in the UK with you while on the student visa. They have to be with you on the student visa to be eligible to apply and become your dependents on the graduate visa. You cannot extend this visa. So if you're staying for two years, before the end of the two years, you need to make sure you get another job and switch to another visa because you cannot extend this visa. If not, after staying for two years, you're going back to your country. <laughs> And another thing, guys, it does not count towards PR. It does not count towards permanent residence. This is crazy, right? After maybe you did one year or two years course here in the UK, you switch over to the graduate visa and stayed for two years, and still it does not count towards PR. Anyway, it's your choice to make, but to me, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the costs. So for you to successfully apply for this graduate visa, you need to pay your application fee and pay health surcharge fee. Application fee is £715, while health surcharge fee is £624 per year. So if you are staying for two years, you are paying £624 times two, which is £1,248 for health surcharge alongside with application fee of £715, making its total cost of £1,339. So assuming you did your PhD, you're paying health surcharge £624 times three years, you will be staying in the UK. Guys, this is huge. <laughs> and then again, if you have your wife, okay, let's assume you have a wife and a child and they're applying with you, you're paying for them separately. You pay your own application fee of £715, you pay for your wife, you pay for your child. Then you pay your health surcharge fee of £624. Let's assume you're staying for two years. So you're paying health surcharge for your own, £1,248. You're paying it for the three persons. £1,248. Let's do the calculation times three. Guys, is £3,744. Then, application fee of £715 times three is £2,145. If we calculate £2,145 plus £3,744, guys, you are paying... Five thousand eight hundred and eighty-nine pounds for this visa if you are applying with your wife and a child. Guys, this is huge. So these are the things you need to consider while planning to switch over to this graduate visa. If you convert this money in Naira, Naira it amounts to up to 4.5 million. Now convert it to your own currency. My personal opinion is that before you switch to this visa route, you need to weigh the pros and the cons. Check the cost. 
For the fact that it doesn't count towards PL, to me it's crazy. Let's assume you've stayed one year studying or maybe two years studying and then you applied for this graduate visa, you're staying two years extra and all these four years doesn't count towards PL. Let me know what you think about this. Plus, um, you, you're not allowed to bring in new dependents. It's only if they stayed with you while on your student visa. So, if you're on this graduate visa, you get married. You cannot bring in your partner or your kids. Guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. And also, the cost. Let me know what you think. Is it affordable? Is, do you think um, it's expensive? Please, can you drop your thoughts in the comment section? Let me know what you think about it. And for the fact that you cannot extend this visa as well, but the good thing is that you can actually switch to another visa while on this graduate visa. Please do well to subscribe to my channel, like, and share to those who might need this video. And if you like this particular video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, okay? And, um... Just let me know so I will know the kind of video I will be making on this channel. Alright? Thank you for watching till the end and I will see you in my next video. For now.